Hi guys, we're going to do a short um, life skills lesson. So first I'm going to show you a video and then we're going to do a lesson. Did you know that sometimes when people get sick, it's because of tiny things called germs. Not all tiny things are bad, but some germs can hurt people. If you've heard someone say they have the flu, a bug, or a cold, it could have been caused by germs. The good news is you can help stop germs from spreading. Wash your hands regularly, since germs can get on hands and be spread around. After using the bathroom or getting your hands dirty, wash with soap and water while counting to 20 really slow, turtle slow, super cool turtle slow. Cough and sneeze into your elbow. That keeps germs away from your hands and other people. Don't pick your nose, rub your eyes, or touch your mouth, since those are easy places for germs to get into your body. The less you put your hands on your face, the better. Germs like to hide on surfaces like countertops, door handles, and cell phones. Do your part to keep them from spreading by wiping down surfaces and keeping your hands clean. Germs are a natural part of life. Simple things like washing your hands can keep everyone healthy. A message from Cincinnati Children's. Okay, um, so that was the video. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, do the lesson. It, it's on Unique. So I'm going to go to the News to You login. I'm going to log into my News to You or Unique account. And okay, so we're on lesson six rules for clean hands. Okay, so today we're going to learn a little bit about the steps of proper hand washing, but first we're going to answer some questions. Okay, hand health survey. It's a hand health survey, and that means questions that you answer, okay? I should wash my hands. So, I should wash my hands, or should you wash your hands? Before touching my face. Before touching your face. I would say yes, because if you have germs on your hand, you can transfer them to your face. So, washing your hands is a good idea. Yes. Okay. Should I wash my hands before eating? I would say yes to that also because if you have germs on your hand, you can, well, if you're eating, they can go in your mouth. You don't want that. Yes. So yes. And after eating? Also after eating, because you could also get germs on your hands from eating, from your mouth to your hands, and then spread it and touch other things. Yes. Okay. After coughing or sneezing. After coughing or sneezing, definitely. Okay. That transfers germs from your mouth to your hands. Yes. And after using the restroom. After using the restroom, definitely you get germs when you use the restroom and you don't want to spread those germs to other people or other surfaces. Yes. Okay. So I think these are all the same answer, but let's see. After opening a door. After opening a door would probably be a good idea only because you want to wash your hands after touching frequently touched surfaces because germs transfer, okay? So yes. Yes. Okay, so things that are touched a lot, like door handles, telephones, something that a lot of different people touch, you wanna be careful with. You wanna wash your hands after touching those things. Okay, so here's the steps for hand washing. One, wet hands with water. Wet hands with water. Two, two, get soap and rub into hands. Rub soap into hands. Three, wash the back of hands and in between fingers. Wash the back of hands and finger and between fingers. And four, rub soap into hands for at least 20 seconds. Okay, and some of you that I've helped wash hands, we do counting in, in the bathroom, so you kind of know about this, a couple of you that I have helped. 
We do count to 20. 5. Rinse soap off with water. And 6. 6. Dry hands. Okay, so those are the steps for hand washing. Now, if you're going to go have lunch or do something else later, or, or you just did something, like maybe you your, blew your nose or sneeze, it's a good time to go wash your hands. I'm going to go wash my hands now. I'll 